Welcome to the grade six project, Pegboard Design. In this project, we are going to create a model of what you see here, an old fashioned pegboard toy, along with the mallet used for this. As we can see, this is gonna be a multi-part uh, project that is going to be assembled together. We are gonna start first with our face of our pegboard toy. A few things that we can notice is our pegboard toy itself is 5.75 inches by three inches with a 0.75 inch extrusion. So I'm gonna to come to Onshape and click Create. I'm gonna create a document and I'm gonna call it Pegboard Toy. This will generate my workspace. And the first thing I'm gonna create is that uh, base for that project. I'm gonna choose my top plane. I'm gonna choose the top navigation cube to orientate myself. And I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. And I'm gonna create a rectangle that is 5.75 inches by three inches. Again, that rectangle is 5.75 inches by 3 inches. Then I'm going to come up to my extrude button and I'm going to extrude this 0.75 inches. Clicking that green check mark, I then can take a view at my part and I can see that base for that pegboard toy. The next thing you're going to notice is I'm going to have a series of holes on these. Uh, if we notice that the circle itself is one inch up, one inch over, uh, and we're going to center all our holes and the different shapes off of that uh, original circle and or square. Uh, looking at it now, I most likely will start with the square because it will be easier to mention from the right to the left. I'm going to choose my sketch. I'm going to lay it on the top of my uh, rectangle that I extruded, not on one of the planes, but on the surface of that part. I'm going to click top to orientate myself. Again, I'm going to work right to left on this. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a one inch by one inch rectangle. Next, I'm going to grab my dimension button. And what I want to do is I want to dimension from this line to the right line here, one inch. I also want to dimension from this bottom line here to this line, one inch. Now that centers my um, square vertically and it also starts dividing because I have three parts dividing this into quadrants here uh, so I can lay my others down. Now I'm not gonna close and extrude this part. I'm gonna continue doing my sketches. So the next thing I'm gonna click on is my polygon tool. Again, I'm just gonna click into this open space, draw out, and I'm gonna scroll down to do a three-sided polygon, which is my triangle. If I look at my uh, part list on this, my triangle is 1.15. So I'm gonna dimension the base of my triangle 1.15 inches. Now again, I need to do some uh, math and I'm going to look at dimensioning the point of this triangle to this line we need to exit out of that. We're going to have to go to the top line. We're going to go to this line, to the top line, one inch. Again, now we can see that we're lining up our pieces. But I need to dimension from this point to the far line, 2.3 inches. So again, now I have my square and triangle done. Please join me in the next video, part two, to continue working on this document.